a wonderful presentation. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cheat with PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Last time I had a presentation was in 1999, so oh. I graduated from MBA. So <laughs> 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 <Early years. laughs> All right. Um, so my presentation is about GD commercial um, deliver performance and value. Yeah, you just, yeah, just click, click the. Uh, yeah. There you okay. go. Um, I also wanted to, since I'm new here, I'll tell you guys a little bit about my background. I was born and raised in China, <coughs> came to the US in 1992, um, and done different education, but finally found my way to MBA program. Just feel like this is, suits me better. Um, I was trying to get into medical field, but you know, at the time I was a student, it was very expensive. I couldn't really afford it, so MBA suits my personality, and um, so I got my MBA degree at the uh, University of Texas in San Antonio in 1999 uh, with concentration in finance. And um, I'm fluent in English and mainly Chinese, although I can never get rid of my accent, but <laughs> it doesn't stop me from doing business. <laughs> um, I have a nine-year-old son who is love of my life. He wish. <laughs> he has a crash on pretty little girls like this all the time. <laughs> He's nine years old in fourth grade. He goes to school at Boston City Elementary School. Um, we like to do things together like ski. Uh, I take him on ski trips, um, vacation once a year, um, stuff like that. But. He is very different than me, and I, I like to play sports, tennis. I play tennis too, but not as good as you. <laughs> but uh, I've been very active with the tennis community here at USTA team. Um, I like swimming and gym exercise, salsa, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, I, I actually have similar experience. I used to play chess when I was younger. From between age 12 and 15, I actually played with world. Champion wow. a couple of times. Of course, wow. I lost, but I got <laughs> quite experience. <laughs> the experience treasure for life, right? Mm -hmm. Memories. Um, and, that's me and, so. and the professional background um, I was in high tech sales for about five years after I graduated from MBA. Um, I done work for SunTech in San Antonio, it's a large format digital printing company in sales and marketing. And then, um, um, Worked for Dell briefly for about a year. I just never found my inspiration in a big corporation. It just feel very significant in a very in a gigantic company. Dell had 50,000 employees. So even though I was doing well, but I always wanted to have my own business one day. Um, so um, I was divorced in 2000, end of 2002, when my son was only one year old. And I met my former realtor who was we just kind of hit it off. She's a lady, though. <laughs> <laughs> but she brought me into real estate and taught me how to do real estate. So um, I was in Austin at the time. I specialized in IGOs and hot homes for a few years, and uh, um, I really enjoyed it. So um, beginning of uh, 2007, I started thinking about moving to Bay Area because I have my childhood friend who lives here and my best friend lives here. Uh, they all tell me wonderful things about Bay Area and what opportunities we can have here, just no comparison. So I finally decided to move here beginning of last year, and then I transitioned into real estate. Um, doing commercial real estate has always been my goal and dream. I always thought it's just, um, just very interesting, and I know it's very complex, uh, but the opportunity has finally presented itself. I was introduced to um, John Luke at GD Commercial, so he just kind of took me out of his wings and I started working with him. Um, <coughs> GD Commercial's philosophy, right, it's just like Connie and Caroline said, you know, you have to uh, put the customer's interest first. And uh, I mean, I really think it's true. You can't think of money when you work with your clients. You just have to serve their needs and help them out. The money will come naturally. And in the last six years, I always think, what if, if I was in their position, what would I do? I always try to treat others the way I would like to be treated. So that simple principle has got me away from trouble for the last six years, and hopefully it will be for a long time to come. Uh, 
a um, little bit about the services GD Commercial provides. GD Commercial has done a lot of big projects, um, uh, Pacific Commons in Fremont and Mepita Square is where the um, broker to, to those big projects. But also, we also do smaller things like the purchase, investment, owner occupied properties for their business needs. Some, pe some business people like to buy and own as part of investment while they're doing their business. Some uh, business people just like to rent and lease, and maybe for 10, 20 years, like restaurants and stuff. And we also work with developers uh, as buyers to use on the land so they can develop the project as residential project or commercial project. Um, also, the security tenants as negotiating terms on their behalf and, uh, and make sure that they can be well. off. GD Commercial is the first to approach developers with the uh, concept of the Asian American Mall. So Pacific Commons is one of the largest Asian American shopping centers in Silicon Valley. So if you're ever in the Fremont, go check it out. It's really nice, a lot of restaurants and shops. And this is Pacific Commons. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really nice. Where everyone is that? Uh, it's by Warm Springs and Mission okay. Boulevard. Yeah, the cross oh, street. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's built, the project was built on 7.7 acres in the Warm Springs and Mission San Jose area of Fremont. And it's located by I8, I-880 at Altamont Parkway exit and um, it anchored by Asian Pro Restaurant. We were going to anchor it with uh, Marina uh, Grocery Store Shopping Center, but because Costco is kind of just across oh. from it, so it didn't work out. But Asian Pro Restaurant is a huge restaurant, so people do a lot of parties and events there. Uh, Milpita Square is located in Milpita. Uh, it's bigger than Pacific Commons, has 160 square feet of commercial and retail space on 70 acres of land, and it anchored by Ranch 99 and fully leased out. Uh, this is, um, and the smaller things like the Victorian Square space for lease, we have uh, um, about 40, there's few spaces uh, has already been leased out. This is the biggest one, 4,800 square foot for lease. $2.75. Well, just kind of a little bit, a little technical, I know, but uh, um, this is considered, I guess, in that location is pretty normal. So triple net just refers to the, uh, uh, the tenant will pay for the public tax insurance and operating expenses. Um, so it's $2.75 per square foot plus 65 cents triple net. And, this and what is, is triple net? What is triple overhead? Huh? What is triple net? Triple uh, property tax insurance. Property oh, okay. And property so property expenses. Net. Yeah. Okay. And light or fair space for lease. Uh, that's the, just another example uh, of smaller. You know, we don't just do big projects. We also serve clients in different regions on all levels. Uh, it's also anchored by <coughs> Ranch 99. It just means that in the whole shopping center, Ranch 99 is the biggest uh, store that attract, attracts a lot of traffic. So people go there to go grocery shopping and then they see a restaurant like, oh, we can eat here, or we can, a dollar tree next to it, or we can go <coughs> buy some, you know, goodies and for their kids and stuff like that. Um, so, like, this location is not as good as the other one, so as you can see the rent is way cheaper, $1.50, $1.75 rent, plus uh, 30 cents cheaper net. But that's all retail space, right? Yeah, and we, we do have, we, we also do office space rental as well, leasing as well. So I was just thinking of, <laughs> In you know, at one point in time, I tried to lease a an office mm -hmm. in downtown Los Altos, mm -hmm. and it was almost four dollars a square foot. Oh, yeah, yeah. and that's like right. that's, that's a lot you of know, money. Yeah, yeah. 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 It just depends on the location. Premium locations that cost more. I'm not sure if downtown Los Altos is premium. Pretty nice. So. So uh, this is the uh, Light of Paris by 680 in Paris, the um, This is another one. It's a past project, but I just want to kind of bring it up. We don't just do retail. We also do office space. And this is a sale project by Union Square Medical Building. So this is for sale, starting at 1,000 square feet, uh, 650, 750 per square foot. So seven stories are suitable for pharmacy, offices, and therapy rooms, and medical clinics. 
um, so the challenge is, is since the economy um, gone through kind of like recession, a commercial real estate had got hit really badly. Um, a lot of businesses stop. You know, new new business the people who have business ideas and they can't get money from the bank, and so. Um, so we have uh, you know, facing some challenges of inquiring new business. Big projects we have, like International Plaza, were put on hold uh, due to current economic condition. That, that project was supposed to be in San Jose, um, but it's going to be put on hold for some time. So, um, Do you see that turning around at this point? Um, it's, it, it is. We have more activities, but still it's going to be a pretty slow. Yeah, so slow. I think it's a combination of the whole economic environment. Bank has to be able to lend money to business owners for the business for us to be able to do business with, <laughs> for them to rent states and stuff. Because you know, for business owner to start even just small business, they need capital. So yeah, so I think it's a chain effect. <laughs> the whole whole economy has to recover. Um, so I'm relatively new, I just want to be honest with you, even though I've done business in the past, but I'm new in the, in the area and uh, I'm expanding my business, I need your help. Um, so who do you know who might need help with buying, selling, or lease office or um, retail space, or buying or selling, uh, please send them my way. I can help together with team members at GD Commercial. Thank you. Do, do you and or GD Commercial do um, commercial real estate management? Uh, I don't do management, management but we have uh, somebody who does uh, management. We have a team. We have two project managers and three uh, transaction coordinator also has a leasing department, management department, which is to manage. Any other questions? What are the areas where you specialize? I know a lot of this is you remodeled. Well, he did. Yeah. Does GD Commercial specialize in other locations as well as the um, area, or is that the we, focus? We actually, well, mainly because the office is located in Pisa, mm -hmm. so we tend to do a little more business in South Bay, but we do not specialize. Usually in commercial real estate, we don't concentrate in one area. So just wherever the opportunity is, we even have projects from China, you know, China, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, uh, the business owners from China to buy, invest here, and try to link with EP5 and EP3, just like investment, uh, immigration in that. Uh, like if you invest half a million dollars, you really can get green card. Uh -huh. We even have projects linked with China. So my broker, John Lu, is in China right now to inquire more opportunity, just expand business, because it seems like the opportunities here, even though Bay Area is one of the best areas to do business, but still, we need to uh, yeah, explore our opportunities. Thank you.